Hello everyone, it's Kelly here again and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my very first speed paint here on my channel. I do have one more video in which I recorded something that I drew, but it's not exactly a speed paint. It was more of a two marker challenge. I will link it in the cards or in the description down below if you are interested. Basically, I created a drawing with just red and um, black while using white as negative space. And that was my Martinita girl and I think I uploaded sometime this year. I'm sorry, that's completely wrong. I uploaded it sometime in February or March last year. So it's been a whole year since I drew something here on my channel. And I thought that, you know, maybe I should start doing more of those in the future because I do love drawing. And unfortunately, my setup is not the greatest for recording drawings just because my desk is in the far, far um, corner of my room it is the furthest from the window i don't get any natural light and having it on my desk lamp is kind of weird which you will see later on in this video because i did end up having to just turn on the light at some point because it was freaking dark um but anyway this drawing came to be because i was inspired by a tv show that i was watching back in january i did mention that in i think my january wrap up which i also have have in the links or in the cards here on this video if you're interested in seeing that one i was watching this show called a discovery of witches which is a fantasy show about witches vampires and demons and basically how they kind of live in the world filled with humans or sorry that's I guess, I guess they live in the human world, that's the correct way to say it, but um, yeah. So they live in our world and basically there's this ongoing, not gonna say war, but more like a misunderstanding of between the witches and the vampires. And of course our story is a love story and it's between a witch and a vampire, the forbidden romance. So it sounds pretty cliche, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty cliche as a TV show. It was interesting, very similar to The Vampire Diaries, only a bit more adult it wasn't just so teenagerish and kind of cringy and i think i just offended the entire internet but um yeah i did enjoy that show as well and i watched it till the last season so you know don't don't come for me anyway there was this one scene where our main character rode this beautiful horse on these beautiful valleys in I think it was in France somewhere. It was just really gorgeous and that kind of inspired me to create this piece where I have my female character on a horse. My camera foreshortens quite a bit of my sketchbook and I do realize that I have some proportion issues just because my lady is kind of way too big for the horse and also her head is way too big for her own body which is something I have on problem with and it's ongoing and um yeah i'm that's why i'm practicing and trying to um, figure it out but the camera angle from which i recorded this just makes it look 10 times worse and i promise you it's not that bad her head and just her body is not that gigantic compared to the horse which you will see in the end video or like in the end picture when i just record it straight up just take a picture of it straight but yeah i do know that the proportions are off but still i really like this drawing i was really enjoying the process watching the show and just drawing and it was very relaxing honestly at this point i wasn't initially going to record this i was just starting to sketch out something and at some point i found found that it kind of looked very you know okay it was pretty turned out pretty good and I was still on the sketching process so I decided to record it. That's why you kind of didn't see the initial sketches just because I again I wasn't planning on recording this. So my idea for this piece was to have my character kind of be like a princess. I was going to make her an elf but I thought maybe I'll have her hood on and that would be better. So she's kind of a princess. She escaped from the castle. Maybe she's running away from something and I really really love the way that her horse turned out. I've been a huge 
huge fan of horses. They were my favorite animal for the longest time. They are still, you know, one of my favorite animals. I just find horses just so elegant and beautiful and I love the way that the colors turned out on my version, you know, on my horse on the drawing because I don't have um, that many Copic markers and Copic colors. I was a bit limited in terms of what the color of the horse should be, but I think it turned out so great and I did manage to get some contrast because the horse has this brown sandy colored mane and tail and hooves and all together it's just kind of this warm gray and I don't know I'm just I'm really in love with this horse at first I was going to do some spots on it and speckles but turns out I don't know how to do that I just don't <laughs> with Copic markers I am not that experienced so I had no idea how to do that so instead I just made the, this gradient on the hooves and I really love how it turned out I again something to notice that I am very bad at drawing folds Clothes and folds are not my thing and her cloak shows this incredibly much and I hope it doesn't bother you guys all that much. I realize that my art is not impeccable, it's not. It has its issues, it has its problems, but art is about expressing yourself, it's about doing it for fun and it's also about getting an idea across or just relaxing for me it's always been just relaxing and kind of a meditative process meditative was the word was it was that the word i don't know Ugh, english it makes me feel more relaxed and even though i see the issues that it has i think it's a great first step to just see the issues that your art has so you know what to work on in the future so in my previous years when i was drawing in high school and before that i would always just stop drawing or throw pieces away if they didn't turn out the way that i wanted them to turn out and that is just a very wrong thing to do or at least i think it's very wrong you should always save your pictures even if you're not happy even if you see all the issues you shouldn't just throw your work away you should just acknowledge that and you should continue working on the pieces and the parts that are hard for you and i think that's something that i started realizing more when I started watching YouTube videos of our other artists, for instance, drawing with waffles, because sometimes, you know, her art is amazing. It's phenomenal. I love it. But she has such a an easy going a view on art and what your art should be and i think that's very important she didn't actually watching her videos did teach me a lot for instance do not be worried about everything being perfect that is very important because i've always been a perfectionist i've always had issues while drawing and when something again wouldn't turn out the way that i planned it to or just didn't look the way that I thought it would I just get very discouraged and stop drawing altogether and that's just that's not right you know that's that's not good you should continue drawing and you should continue experimenting and sometimes it will turn out great sometimes it will turn out horrendous and sometimes it will be somewhere in between like this piece right here so it turned out good but it also i acknowledge that it has some issues but even though it has issues i still think it's important to just upload it here i was really considering not uploading it at some point just because you know i know the mistakes that it has but again i'm not here to take your money and teach you how to draw i'm just here to do my thing and just share it with you guys and i really do hope you guys enjoy it and you can kind of ignore the issues because i don't think that's kind of the point of this video or the channel or just any art channel for that matter so my lesson in this video kind of is just feel more relaxed be more confident with your work be more open with everything that you draw and you create and even though it's not perfect sometimes it's just not meant to be sometimes the process is more important than the work you're actually doing and just have fun don't do it for 
any particular reason, just have fun with it. If you want to draw a woman on a horse, just draw a woman on a horse, even though it took you like 500 hours to draw these folds on her cloak and no amount of references could actually save it. So just, you know, keep going because before I wouldn't even draw the folds. That's how bad it was. I was like, nope, no folds because I can't draw them. No, draw exactly the things that you cannot draw so you can learn. And I have a really, really long way to go, but I'm I'm going there. I'm doing the best that I can and um, I think I'll get there at some point. Anyway, I am drawing this with Copic markers on a Derwent. Derwent was it called? Let me just check quickly. No, Daler and Roni sketchbook and it's an A4 sketchbook with uh, a spiral and hard covers. I don't think this is the best sketchbook for Copic markers. It does get saturated very quickly. It kind of dries your markers out. I didn't have any issues with, you know, my markers stop stopping to work or getting completely dried out, but it is something to keep in mind. I currently don't have any sketchbooks that are good for Copic markers, but I do love how the colors perform on this paper. It does bleed quite a bit, but it also is it's very vibrant and the colors end up looking gorgeous. So I do realize that the markers are probably just kind of suffering from this paper because it sucks up the ink quite a bit. But even so, I really like how it turned out. Unfortunately, I didn't remember to write down the colors that I used in this picture, but I will try to add the ones that I've seen, the ones that I'm sure of down in the description below. If you do see any of the markers pop up and I haven't mentioned them in the description down below, be sure to comment in the comments in the comment section so we know and I'll, I'll add them to the description. I just didn't remember to write them down. That's definitely something that I should do in the future because I did use quite a bunch of markers and uh, the browns definitely and the E series. So we're coming up to the end of the video soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you juke at least something out and feel more comfortable with your art and i really hope to do some more art videos and some more speed paintings here on this channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this drawing and i'll see you in the next one bye